Welcome to the lesson data transmission via SENT protocol part 1. SENT stands for Single Edge Nibble Transmission Meaning that data nibbles are transmitted. One data nibble corresponds to four bits. In this lesson, we will take a closer look at the data transfer. The data flow between transmitter and receiver only occurs in one direction and data is transferred via a single line. Such a sent data telegram is structured as follows. First, the transfer must be synchronized. This is provided by the synchronization pulse, which is represented by the elapsed time interval between two falling edges. This is like a benchmark for the analysis of the signal. The second transmitted unit contains status and communication information. Here, additional information about the transmitter is provided, such as an ID or the identifier of the sensor type. This is followed by the data block which contains the actual values to be transferred. This data block consists of a minimum 1 and up to 6 data nibbles. The following data nibble contains the checksum, which, similar to a barcode in the supermarket, serves to check the correctness of the data transmission. Optionally, a pause pulse can be defined at the end of such a data frame. This is often used to synchronization the data transmission to a fixed period of time. What should be kept in mind about the data transfer via SENT protocol? Data transmission always takes place in one direction and over one line. But how is data properly transmitted using SENT protocol? SENT protocol part 2 will provide answers by means of a detailed example. 